hello everyone hope you all are doing well welcome to our channel today we are here with a new video for zero mock test so now i am going to take you through a zero mock test a replica of official software that tfl uses to take your test so it will be 37 question so let's start so the our first question is if you yeah if you get any fixed penalty notice or commit road traffic offenses that result in penalty points on your driving license when should you tell tfl about it so answer is immediately next question is which one of the following include an example of medical condition you should notify tfl immediately it's hard conditions the next question is uh, in regard to use of seat belts in a phb which one of the following is correct so the correct answer is all adult must wear a seat belt driver should encourage adult passenger to wear a seat belt for their own safety okay the next question to get your license to be a PHP driver, you must be medical fit. Yeah. However, you may be exempt for supplying a medical form if you meet certain condition. Which of the following is the condition? Okay. The condition is uh, you have a current London taxi driver's license. So if you have, you don't need to. You will be a find a form to meet. Okay. Okay. The next question is a PHP driver badge is for you to use only obviously uh, which one of the following you must not allow please focus on it this is not allowed okay they're asking which is not allowed they're not asking which is allowed so you have to find which is not allowed so the not allowed is any person to use it to carry out bookings so you you will not allow any person even he is your Mm, he's your son he's your brother he's your cousin anyone it is just for you okay next question is in regard in regard to use of seat belts if the correct if the correct child car seat is not available what a phb can do so a phb can do what um, it will be that the PHB driver can allow children to travel without one but only if they travel on a rare seat and wear an adult seat belt if they are three or older or without a seat belt if they are under three so please remember that is very very important okay the next question is when uh, when can you allow another person to use your London PHB driver badge so the answer is never and the next question is uh, to get your license to be a PHB driver you must be medically fit however however if however you may be exempt um, you may be exempt from supplying a medical form if you meet certain conditions yeah we know it which of the following is one of the condition okay the answer is have a full provisional uh, pro full provisional DVLA group 2 license it's DVLA group 2 please notice that please remember that it's group 2 standard is group 2 DVLA group 2 license okay next question is in terms of licensing check if a police officer or a TFL authorized officer ask you to see your license which one of the following you must do so you have to let them see there and then or within maximum of seven days so those are the things you have to remember always so don't be confused uh, in them it's seven days right not 21 not uh, immediately it's seven days you have the chance okay the next question is who is responsible who is responsible for making sure that all children under two, under 14 years of age wear seat belts uh, wear seat belts or seat an approved child car seat the answer is drivers you are the responsible the driver is responsible if you be if your PHB drivers license or license uh, or badge is stolen 
when should you report it to TFL it's immediately okay the next question is in regard to tire in your PHB which of the following is correct so they are asking for correct answer the the correct answer is tires uh, must be correct in tire must be in correct size speed and weight rating yeah so this is the answer tire where bar indicators are positioned around the tire what you must do if the trade pattern um, has on down to the level of the indicator so what do you need to do so you have to you must replace the tire always to get your license to be a bhp driver you must be medically fit however you may be exempt from supplying a medical form if you if you meet certain conditions which one of the following is one of the conditions so the answer is have a valid current pilot license issued the joint aviation authorities the next question is in regard to medical examination for PHV drivers from the age of 65 how often a driver should complete a medical examination so this is very important and the answer is what do you think the answer is once a year so every time every year you have to um, complete a medical examination if you are 65 then okay the next which in regard of medical examination for PHB drivers from the age of 45 so don't be confused uh, it is 45 and that one was 65 so 45 how often a driver should complete a medical examination the answer is each and every time they have applied to renew their license so in between in between medical examination if you develop a new medical condition that may affect your ability to drive when should you tell tfl so this is immediately the next question is in regard to bookings which one of the following is incorrect so please this they are asking which one is incorrect so some people do that they are uh, they are choose the correct answer but they are asking for incorrect answer and the incorrect answer is you must not carry out all bookings in a london in license bhb that has bhb license discount display this is incorrect the next question is some of the changes you need to tell tfl immediately about uh, which one of the following is not one of them they're asking which is not one of them so please focus on it they're asking not one of them so you have to choose the incorrect answer not the correct answer and it is if you book a holiday abroad so if you are going in holiday to abroad you don't need to take tfl right okay the next uh, question is and those are very interesting questions um you are seeing they are saying that in regard to outstanding uh, outside vehicle you need to ensure that there are no sign of fluids oil brake fluid um, leaking from under the vehicle on the ground all external all external lights are re re reflectors are the there are and secure undamaged and working if there is no serious rusting or corrosion Re resulting in sharp edges and body panels have not been badly repaired which one of the following also need to check so they are asking for two answer and the two answer is all windscreen are clean they are undamaged and free from an un 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 unapproved signage and advertising material yeah so and the another answer is there is no evidence of serious damage to external body panels so the next question is in regard to concentration you need to focus on the road and be able to react quickly which ones uh, which ones of the following you should not do so in this case their answer they, they're also asking for two answers so when they are asking for two answer so we have to select two so don't forget that okay the answer is get 
Don't get distracted by the music or, or passengers. Don't get distracted by mobile phones or other electronic devices. So, in this case, in this type of uh, in this type of question, we have a tips for you, and that is, you don't need to read all of things. If you have the general knowledge about these chapters, then just come and read the option first, and you will easily find the answer which is the appropriate answer because there will be some options which are not based on common sense so if you use your common sense then you can easily find those answer okay uh, so let's start when picking up passenger from hitri airport you must always use an official car park yeah the, it, it this is making sense you can enter hitri airport to pick up passenger with or without no i can't enter it hit the airport he, without booking uh, when picking up passenger you must always use the drop off area obviously not uh, okay the answer is that okay you cannot accept a fare if the passenger has booked uh, the journey through a license over no this is not the right answer if you approach people on the pavement or outside a late night venue to offer them private hair service you may be committing an offense yeah this is the answer the next question is uh, um you do not need to inform your operator about any changes no i, I need to although you are not res personally responsible for collecting or recording any booking details you should know about this requirement and yeah i think this is the answer because before journey start you are operator is not no this is the answer okay the next question is uh, you should you should not carry out uh, carry out the private uh, have booking where the destination for the journey is outside London oh no I, I don't think this is the answer if you have any doubt w about whether a journey is legal or not you should ask your friend yeah this is the right answer the next question is this is the fill in the blanks and those are very important we have to be careful when we are doing this so let's start as soon as you license it is uh, important yeah it is important that keep your keep contact in with tfl and uh, respond respond to any letters emails or the forms of uh, communication so please put the uh, incorrect answer there this is also important otherwise you, you you will get zero for this this is very important okay the next one is uh, you must wear your PHP um, driver page at all times yeah when you are working a PHP driver waiting to receive booking receive a booking or uh, traveling to pick up passengers yeah okay the next question is uh, you do not need to tf, uh, tell TFL about any penalty notice which are PCN or parking charge um, tickets yeah those are tickets uh, that do not result in what penalty points penalty points on your driving license okay those are the answer let's move for another question which is you must tell tfl immediately uh, yes if you are arrested arrested charged with uh, convicted yeah charged with or convicted or cautioned uh, for any crime this includes any fixed penalty notice or road traffic offenses yeah offenses that result in penalty yes those are the answer so let's go for next question the next question is as a PHP driver uh, you are what you are expected yeah expected to treat all passengers in a professional and 
respectful respectful way yeah obviously respectful way uh, without making a judgment about any person any person's personal characteristics or assuming anything about them yeah those are very important next question to get a to get a license not licenses it license you will need to take a separate test to check your ability to select and a plan a road read a map and identify locations as a london php driver you can only yes you can only carry out uh, what bookings um, you will bookings that you have received from a licensed uh, london php operator right yes the l will be capital but this is a noun so we are doing very well i think <laughs> a passenger a passenger may book yes a passenger may book a ride sharing journey by mistake if you stop to collect a second uh, what passenger obviously second passenger a second passenger this this way this is a passenger not passengers okay and the first passenger uh where no was not expecting to it could result in argument yes so those are the answer and it is very important to practice this type of question more and more if you know the grammar you know everything you have the knowledge about the chapter but you didn't practice no it it will not be a proper way to improve yeah you need to practice because practice make a man perfect so you have to always practice more and more then you will be a pro in this type of question before the start of each journey your operator is required um required to record to record certain information about the bookings yeah okay the next question is the first say you dive yes the first the first say you dive and the last time yeah the last time because this is kind of a proverb we all know it we all use it and we have to use it you have uh, do something to avoid collision the resulting what uh, injuries also became uh, speed uh, increasing so also more serious as uh, speed increases yeah not less okay the our next question is uh, private hire services uh, rn it's not in r an important part of london transport network that's why we have to give seru yeah because it is very important part of london transport network is like buses tubes train okay so that's why we have to maintain the standard we have to be a educated person we need to pass the seru exam this is because it is an important part of london's transport network uh, provide okay providing a wide range of service of residents and visitors okay the next question is and i think this is the last question for today it is important that each time a passenger gets gets into a php they uh into a php they what they receive right they receive a high quality of uh high quality of service yeah service okay so those are the answer and that is all for today so let's check our marks okay finished yeah we have got 95 percent yeah 
which is very good and uh, we also have the facility that you can review what you did you done so this is also important when you are learning something and th that's how you can review all of this question and you know if you want to make marks like me you have to practice you have to practice more and more and you have to come to educate yourself to train yourself and we have those facilities so i think will be the correct option for you to make you uh, a pro make you a perfect person to complete those answer to pass zero exam so if you found this video useful then definitely make sure to share it like it and please comment and subscribe our channel we also um, post more and more videos like this we also provide the training for server assessment topographical assessment v1 language test we also complete your pc or training applications and many more for a very affordable price yeah so do get in touch with us on the number on the screen you can call us text us whichever you want we do speak bangla english urdu hindi as well we are planning to add more languages and the most and most important thing if you want access to this software which is a replica of the exam software then get in touch with us thank you for your valuable time